Welcome back, people of the Most High God, Jesus Christ. So today's message is going to be called the King of Tyre, the King of Satyrs, the King of Satire. And in parentheses, you can write Satyrs dancing on your brain. So let, we go, we're going to start this off with a, uh, with a, or the few scriptures. First, we're going to start off in Ezekiel, right? It says, son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyre and say unto him, thus saith the Lord God, thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty that has been in the Eden, that has been in Eden, the garden of God, Right? So we know the king of Tyre is a is 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 a supernatural being, right? Most most likely Satan, right? But also connected to uh Azazel the Baphomet, right? Okay. So let's next next we're gonna get into this the definition of satire, right? The definition of satire. The use of humor, irony exaggeration or ridicule to expose and, and criticize people's stupidity or vices, particularly, particularly in the context of contemporary politics and other topical issues. The crude, oh, it was an example. The crude satire seemed to be directed at the fashionable protest singers of time, of the time, right? That's just, that's just an example. So basically it is, Using using the arts pretty much to get get your message across, right? Okay. So not ne ne next we're gonna go to Isaiah. We're gonna go to Isaiah. Isaiah thirteen twenty one. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. And their houses should be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there, right? Now, I want you to think about this, right? In, in the book of Revelations, right, Jesus Christ says, Revelations 3, 320, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and sup with him and he with me. Right. So notice this parallel here. Right. When Jesus, the king, is knocking at your door, the thing he wants to do is to come into you and sup with you. Right. That means then we go back to that reference. When Jesus Christ says to drink his blood and eat his flesh, right? All eating references, right? You're supping with him because you're consuming his doctrine, right? But notice the parallel of what what the what the evil what the evil ones do, right? It says, But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, right? When you think of houses, right? Think of your temple, right? Your mind. And doleful creatures and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there, right? They're, the satyrs are dancing on your brain because they're happy, because they're teaching you their doctrine, right? Hey, I got the gummy worm cheeseburger you wanted. Oh, thank you, my sweet boy. Oh, you can't eat that. Now let's take a look at this and expose this Balfamet hey, satyr doctrine. Close. Normally, this alien baby would burst out of your stomach, but since you're indestructible, there's only two ways for it to exit out of your body. I'm guessing it will come out of your mouth. But, uh, what if it doesn't come out of his mouth? Well... I'm out of here. Child, child, please don't leave me. You're the only normal one here. Yeah, that's why I'm leaving. I'll, I'll give you a raise. I'll give you the man copter. I'll give you whatever you want. Just tell me what you want and I'll give it to you. I'll take a raise. Done. Uh, I'm out of here too. See ya. 
okay, fine, I'll stay. If your child is consuming this, Schwaz, they're gonna get this with their eye me. gates and their ear gates, be in trouble. Oh, satyrs sorry, are dancing fine. on their brain. Open your mouth and say, ah. ah. And then. Okay, now if you notice, when a company advertises something, it causes customers consumers, right? Now there's a mystery in there by itself. A company like the word companion and the word customer, right? The root of that is custom, right? But I leave that for another brother or sister in Christ to figure out. But back to this word consumer, right? Also note that the word Sumerian, uh, like Sumer, is also rooted in that word. Like the, uh, the beginning of civilization where trading started, right? So these, these are all parallels. These are all parallels between the way Jesus Christ comes in and sups and teaches with you versus the way the Baphomet comes in and teaches with you, right? So guard your minds from the king of Tyre, who is the king of satyrs, which is the king of satire. Be blessed in Jesus' name.